Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my 81997 Red Green Laser Waterproof Outdoor Landscape Garden Projector and Light Show Effect. Uh, product review. Uh, as you can see here, I have it set up kind of uh, in a wide space. Uh, the light is, I don't know, about 10 yards behind me. Uh, so the projection from light to the wall is about, I don't know, 22 yards or so. It's extremely bright. Uh, it's really neat looking. You could illuminate an entire tree uh, or, you know, even large canopies above this. Uh, I am really blown away about how cool this looks. And I just decided to go ahead and start this one in the dark uh, with the best display I could set up uh, within the confines of my studio. I hope you enjoyed that demo. I am just going to say that demo did not do this product justice. Uh, the laser beam reached way farther than the way I had it set up. Uh, so really, you know, I don't want to say there's a maximum to this, but I mean, even at 40 yards, this thing was amazingly bright. Uh, of course, I don't have it on right now. I just, uh, I've already tried to show you the light show. Like I said, my demo didn't do it, do it justice. Uh, maybe I'll revisit it at a later date. Uh, but for now, we're going to go ahead and go over the construction. As you can see, I've kind of uh, neatened all the cords back up and uh, got them tied. Uh, it's your standard three-prong plug, so a ground is required. Uh, we move on down the line. Uh, and we can see this waterproof coating protecting all the circuits there. Uh, that's because this device is actually rela uh, rated IP65, so it is completely waterproof and dustproof. Uh, you can see the manufacturing here is very solid. Uh, everything's well put together. There's no room for, uh, you know, water to leak in. I mean, I probably wouldn't try to submerge this, uh, but as you can see here, it does have a waterproof fitting, so it's definitely going to take a rain. Uh, and as you can see, I just go ahead, you have to slide these two ends in and lock them in. And then you grab this and you can see if you tighten it all the way down, uh, we do in fact have a water resistant uh, coupling there. So, I mean, I do like that. Everything's well made. Uh, you have over 190 inches of cord. Uh, if you'd like to know the exact dimensions, I'll measure it after this video. And of course, it'll always be at the end. Uh, the cord seems to be, this doesn't seem to be heavy duty or anything, but it seems to be standard make and well made. Uh, all the places where cords normally break at the end here uh, seem to be supported in multiple ways. As you can see, we have the water tight coupling there. Uh, we have that heavy duty piece there. We have this heavy duty piece there. Uh, so it all seems to be made to last. And as you can see, oh, I'll let that slide out there. You can kind of see how this locks in. Uh, it just has two little squares though. I obviously didn't tighten it as much as I should have uh, because I just wanted to do a demo and uh, I didn't actually stick it into the ground. Uh, but you can see this is a ground stake. Uh, you can essentially, you slide these in here and you can tighten it down uh, so you can get a lot of different angles there. Uh, I will say this thing is incredibly bright. Uh, the directions say specifically not to look into the uh, LEDs and of course I did anyway because I'm hard headed and I'm pretty sure I still have a little green spot floating around. So this thing was really bright. I was, I was really amazed at how bright in fact was. Uh, so once you get you stick it in the ground there, and of course you can just tighten those screws down. Uh, of course I didn't, but you can just tighten those screws down and get pretty much any angle and spin it to any angle according to the ground stake. Uh, so that should be able to fit a lot of different options. Uh, but as you can see here, this connection where the cord comes in, uh, that's, that's normally a place where a lot of cords fail, you know, from tugging on it or so forth. Uh, it actually has some type of uh, epoxy or hardened resin uh, around the cord. Uh, that's probably A, to make sure you don't pull it out, and B, to make sure any water gets in there. Uh, this is all the way around. It has a small seal in there, uh, so that looks like it's definitely water resistant as well. Uh, and that's where the laser actually comes out. Uh, and like I said, it was really bright. Uh, in addition, it also comes with uh, two of these little adapters. I believe that's Australia. Uh, if you need this, then you'll probably know what it looks like. I'm pretty sure that's Australia. And uh, I'm almost absolutely certain that that's Europe. Uh, so basically, uh, you can adjust it down to uh, whether you're in Europe or you're in Australia. Uh, I don't know exactly why those two were included specifically. Wow, that's pretty wobbly. Oh, maybe you have to, okay, there we go. We double up there. So we have Australia, Europe, uh, United States, or actually the, the entire North American continent, Canada, Mexico, US, it should work all there. Uh, it looks like you can have an input between 100 and 200, 100 volts to 240 volts. So it should cover quite a few countries, uh, 50 or 60 Hertz. So it definitely will work in multiple countries, uh, especially if you get your proper adapter. Uh, now we're going to go over the instruction manual. Uh, it's pretty simple. It just tells you what to do and what not to do. It specifically tells you not to stare into the LED, which I probably should have not done. Uh, 
Uh, one of the things that bothers me is that it actually has an optional remote control, which I did not purchase. Uh, and of course, when you're buying things, you're like, oh, I don't need a remote control, I'm just gonna put it outside. But once I saw how really awesome it was, I regret uh, not finding the remote control. I don't even know where to buy the remote control, uh, to be perfectly honest, but I'm pretty sure in the future, my wife is gonna make me buy it, uh, just because this thing is so cool. Uh, it does one of the things that do worry me about this. It says, work six hours needed to cool 30 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to go outside and unplug it after six hours. I was just gonna set it to a night switch, uh, which is not included. I might add, once you plug it in, it's on, so you have to manually turn it on and off or hook it up to a timer or something like that. Uh, my original plan was to just hook it up to a, a, a light sensor that turns off at night, you know, for my outdoor garden. Uh, and it's unfortunate that it says that. Um, I don't know how set in stone that is. I don't know it will light on fire or anything. I ran it for a good four hours and uh, this didn't get too warm, but this got a little bit warm. Uh, not enough to make me worry, but saying uh, it only needs to run six hours at a time does kind of make me worry. Uh, I may go just go ahead and buy a timer instead of a night switch. Uh, but other than that, this product was awesome. I was blown away with how bright it was, uh, the just the overall depth of the lights. Uh, it has only red and green. Uh, so not only would this be great for a garden, uh, this would this would also be awesome for Christmas. Uh, if you use this for Christmas, you might win a couple of Clark Griswold awards. Uh, it's really that bright and that awesome. Uh, so I definitely give a thumbs up to this product. Uh, it's well made. It's extremely bright. It's an extremely neat idea. Uh, so aside from not buying the remote control, which is kind of my own fault, I definitely recommend this product. I hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscribers are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. Thank you for your time.